hi guys welcome back to my channel I cannot believe that it is going to be March here we are with another TBR jar chooses my monthly reads I have such a long physical TBR these aren't even all the books that I have I honestly took some off my shelf because I bought new books but I want to do like a little book haul so that will be after this video and I didn't want you guys to get spoiled and already see all the books that I bought. If you guys did not see my video from last week, I did my entire physical TBR. You can go and watch that video before you watch this one. I added more books since then and I have a problem. So I have to get through the books that have been on my shelf for the longest and this is where the jar is going to help me today. So let's get into it. I haven't done this in so long. I don't think I've done this since last October. One of my goals for this year is to do a monthly TBR video. So, because I think they're so fun. First one up. A book that has a cover you love. All right. I am going to be choosing Caravel for this because it is time I have read Caravel. I have not read it. It's been on my shelf for so long. This is one of my favorite covers out of all the books I own and it's so pretty. Like, and I feel like it matches my vibe going on today. And all I know about this book is that it's just, I think it's, I think there's like a unique game that the main character has to play. I'm not sure what the angle is, but I know that this is... This just gives very magical vibes and I'm all for it and I can't believe I don't know more about it but I heard it's really good. I'm gonna choose this one. A book that you didn't buy yourself. Yours truly I didn't buy it for myself. My grandma bought it for my birthday last year. I'm pretty sure I chose it for one of my TBRs and I never got around to it. I don't know if that makes me a bad person or not but um actually I just th I just thought of this I also did not buy Crescent City I just realized that my grandma also bought me that for my 24th birthday so I have this this my boyfriend also bought me Stephen King's fairy tale my boyfriend also bought me one for my enemy by Olive Blake he's gonna be so mad if he watches this video and he's gonna be like why haven't you read any of the books that I bought you and honestly, Matt, if you're watching this, I am going to get to it, I promise, but there's just so much to choose from. I, but I appreciate you always buying me books. I love it. My boyfriend also bought me The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. My boyfriend also bought me the first Jade City series book, which I've been really wanting to read for some time now, so... I don't know this is so hard the most recent book that has been bought for me is red rising and my grandma bought it for me for valentine's day so i don't know it's like a short read i know this is science fiction Haley fam recommended it and then a, a couple of other people took her recommendation and went ahead and read it for themselves and absolutely loved it so i kind of want to read it but i also kind of want to finish what I've started. What I've started is the Sarah J Mass universe. So I think I'm going to have to get to Crescent City this month. Um, I, I'm so surprised I haven't gotten spoiled yet. I just finished Throne of Glass in January. Now I feel like I have to get on the bandwagon with Crescent City because I don't want to get spoiled. And I just feel like it's inevitably going to happen since I'm always on booktube and book talk. This is so fun. I haven't gotten really good prompts like this a book with a blue cover okay hear me out I've chosen this book before in my other video I am pretty sure I'd have to go look back at it but I'm pretty sure I chose this in my last TBR prompt jar and I never got around to it and I've been wanting to for so long and yeah, we're gonna go with the house in the Cerulean Sea. What I know about this book is that it's about an orphanage for magical children and apparently these children are viewed as bad, quote unquote bad. And so this guy, I want to say 
goes to the orphanage and interviews these kids and tries to see how bad they are or if they're good or their magical abilities. I'm not really sure. I watch Brady Lockerbie on TikTok. She said this was a five star. I've read some of her five star recommendations and I usually agree with her that the books that she recommends are five stars and this was one of them. And I also have read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and I absolutely love that book. So I think this book is going to give me kind of the same vibes. And for that reason, we're going to go with The House in Cerulean So We're going for book four. Five plus words on the cover. One for my enemy. Nope, that's four. We're choosing another fantasy, and I'm so sorry for the people who don't like reading romanticy or fantasy. I'm so sorry. That is what is mostly on my TBR. The TBR jar chose this, so we have to pick this one because it's the only one that follows this prompt, and it is the Serpent and the Wings of Night. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Me and my roommate want to do a 24 hour readathon this month using this book because it's on Kindle Unlimited, and then I have the physical copy. So one of us can read it on the Kindle and one of us can read the physical copy without having to spend more money on another book So I think that will be so fun We want to do like a little girls night get sushi get some snacks and just read this She loves fourth wing. I gave her fourth wing. She loved it She's on her next hunt to find a book that gives her fourth wing vibes and everyone says to read this because I've read Akatar, I've read Fourth Wing. I'm still looking for a book that compares to those. And this might be it. We are going to pick... All right, I'm being real ambitious with this TBR. Book by a male author. I don't think I've ever gotten this prompt before. Most books that I buy are written by women, but it's very special when I find a good male author that I like. So Stephen King, Fairy Tale. I think I'm going to choose Red Rising. This will be my second science fiction novel. I, I read Black Matter in January by Blake Crouch. Absolutely loved it. So I'm hoping I love Red Rising because Haley Pham loves it. And a whole bunch of other booktubers that I saw read this, they loved it as well. So I'm not really sure what it's about. All I know is that it's a series and it's science fiction. One more. I need a standalone. I need a standalone so bad. A book that you think will be five stars. Okay, so that's that's kind of, I mean, that's kind of an easy prompt to like choose what I really want to read. Think, I think book lovers might be a five star read for me. Everyone seems to love Emily Henry. I love Beach Read. I actually didn't give it a five stars. And I heard that one is the, I, I'm not sure if this is gonna be five stars. I really want it to be. I've read Beach Read. I love Beach Read. I don't think I gave Beach Read a five stars. I think I gave it 4.5 stars, but I don't know. Everyone seems to love Emily Henry. I kind of wanna read more books by her since summer's coming around and I feel like her books are more for like spring and summer. So this book surrounds Nora. She lands enormous deals as a cutthroat literary agent. She's only a heroine for her clients and her beloved little sister, Libby. Her little sister, Libby, begs her for a trip to Sunshine Falls, North Carolina. But instead of picnics in meadows or run-ins with a handsome country doctor or bulging four-armed bartender, Nora keeps bumping into Charlie Lastra, a bookish broading editor from back in the city. It would be a meet cute if not for the fact that they've met many times before and it's never been cute. Ooh, so it's kind of like an enemies to lovers, which is my favorite trope for romance. Let's do a little recap. First book we chose is Carvel by Stephanie Garber. I'm so excited to read this one. It's only 400 pages and it seems like the font is pretty large and doesn't take up a lot of the page. So I can get through this one real quick. I have Crescent City. I am really excited to read this. I I don't see very good reviews for Crescent City, I'm not gonna lie, but I am so excited to know what that big ending is in book two, and I can't get to book two without book one, so I think I just need to start the Crescent City series. The House at the Cerulean Sea, I feel like this is gonna be such a cute 
the serpent and the wings of night i am solely excited for this because everyone says if you have a agatar or a fourth wing book hangover read this and it's up there in people's five star fan romanticy reads we have red rising i've heard that this is as well as up there in five star reads i love black matter so i think i might actually love reading science fiction and for that reason i'm also excited for this yeah this might be the book that i'm least excited for i do enjoy emily henry's writing it just depends if there's a lot going on in this book i love really plot driven books i've realized so this could be a hit or it could be a flop for me that was my tbr prompt jar chooses my march reads i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel like this video and comment what you want to see from me next and I will see you guys next week. Bye!